uh, my name is Palomano Gutierrez and I'm going to present you uh, part of what is going to be uh, my PhD thesis, uh, which also is part of a, a communist multilateral uh, project, which is peer tutoring with migrant students in the cultural mentoring program. Uh, the main aspect that we are going to see, it's a very brief uh, framework, the methodology that we have been using, the steps of the process and the main aspects in terms of the evaluation, and the first uh, conclusion and findings, the findings that we have come across uh, during this uh, project. As I said before, this is the intro project, Intercultural Mentoring Tools to Support Migrant Integration at School. It's a communist multilateral project, led by Oxfam Italia. And as well, as partners, we have the University of Salamanca, which I'm part of. Cardet, which is an NGO, in this case, it's the part of Cyprus. Oxfam Italia, which is the leader. Uh, the University of Southampton and the University of Woods in Poland. This uh, project uh, lasted, is lasting until uh, uh, two months, uh, from December 2013 to 2015. In terms of the theoretical framework, uh, what we did was, sorry, uh, we look uh, for what is the situation, first of all, what is the situation in general terms of the educational system, the concrete situation of uh, migrant students in the um, educational system and what measures we are taking in order to help them have a better integration at our uh, societies and also a better integration in the educational system. And also, uh, we focused our attention in terms of the methodology of uh, peer tutoring, which is the one that we used with uh, during the pilot program. In terms of, the sp of Spain, it is extremely important to take into account that around 10% of the entire population is migrant. This uh, number has risen uh, in 20 years spectacularly uh, because uh, while in um, um, sorry, uh, 1994, uh, uh, we had uh, around uh, 50,000 migrant students. Now we have over uh, 700,000. So it is uh, an increase that we have to take into account, especially in terms of what, are, what their needs are and what they need to be able to achieve uh, better results. So now we have the situation that we have a lot of migrant students with both language and integration issues. So we have to, to take into account their needs. Unfortunately, as far as we have seen, the measures taken up until today haven't been as successful as we have hoped. So we, need, we have seen that we need to take a different approach in education, as seen as intercultural education, which was uh, defined by Brian Nichols and Stevens uh, like uh, training intercultural competent citizens that can interact uh, with others, that accept uh, other perceptions of the world, that intercede between different perspectives, and that are conscious of their own assessment on diversity. In other terms, uh, this is not a kind of education. We need to see this as a new way of seeing the entire um, education. Uh, it is not a part of education, it's the new way of seeing education. At least that's how we see it. Our main objective uh, during this project was to introduce in the partner country secondary uh, school context the methodology of peer tutoring actions, which could help uh, migrant students in risk of either early leaving school, uh, repetition, uh, um, grade retention, uh, even absenteeism, or even school failure, in order to improve not only their marks, but also their future opportunities as well. In terms of uh, peer tutoring, we chose uh, the definition given by David Duran, 
who sees uh, this methodology as a cooperative learning method based on the creation of students' couples with an asymmetric relationship, always with a common aim, known and shared by everybody involved. In this case, would be the teaching and learning process of a subject or a specific aspect or maybe some uh, mathematics or something related to history, uh, aspect like that, that all, also takes place uh, through a relationship between said students and said relationship and how it, it's going to plan out is going to be planned by the teacher. So in this case, uh, the students, both the mentor and the mentee, will take a more active role in their uh, learning process and the, the teacher uh, will guide them in the correct direction. <clears throat> also, other objects, objectives are achieve a realistic view of the educational system and migrant students, assess the usefulness of mentoring among peers in our case in Spain, especially in terms of the compulsory education, improve the academic performance of migrant students with this methodology, help achieving a better social integration, help uh, achieve a decrease in their rates in terms of absenteeism, early leaving school, greater tension, etc. Also, it is extremely important to know how this process um, affects the mentor. It is not only important to focus our attention in the mentee, but also in the mentor and how they face their task and also improve the future uh, chances for uh, foreign students. In terms of the steps of this process, the first one, as you can see here, uh, we have the general and international need analysis, which was made uh, through uh, filling up uh, three tables in terms, first of all, of the uh, general situation of the national uh, educational system, and then in terms of the um, of the, the situation of the migrant students in said uh, educational system, and also, as I said before, in terms of the. Um, or the methodology that we used, which was uh, peer tutoring. This was uh, filled up uh, looking through uh, uh, legislations, uh, documents uh, made by the European Union, uh, also uh, other theses, uh, a lot of um, documents made in the European level, which also helped us to see what is the situation in other countries, which also helped us a lot in, in, in terms of how we are related to other countries. The second phase was uh, the training of the teacher and educa other educational school staff. For that, and uh, the, the mentor selection, sorry, for that and the, the third um, uh, step, we use the resources that you have seen, that you can see here. All of them uh, were done in English and also in each uh, language of the countries that were involved. All of them will, ha uh, will have their final version in their national language in the next uh, two weeks. And uh, you will be able, uh, if you are interested, you will be able to see it in the, um, a link that I will show you afterwards. In terms of the implementation of intercultural peer mentoring program, it is really important to, to take into account that in our case, we use, in the case, in the case of Spain, we use uh, uh, students that had a previous uh, training as teachers. So uh, they also knew other uh, methodologies and knew how to approach these students based on, on, other, um, on their personal, experience, personal experiences. Here you have um, um, an example of a, a activity that I had to do, which all, we also saw that uh, these students have very low self-esteem. So what we tried to do was they had to picture their hand in, um, 
in a piece of paper, and we made them uh, give this paper to their friends and their families and have them written down uh, important aspects of their personality, like uh, you are uh, a very good friend, you help a lot, uh, you, are, um, you, you worry about uh, the other per person. So, and that actually was one of the activities that the, the students liked the most because they saw that they actually had competences that actually could help them um, achieve uh, better results in terms of their um, performance. Uh, now you see here another activity which was help them share the, um, the main aspects in terms of their culture and in terms of the monitoring and evaluation of the mentoring model <coughs> We wanted, to see, we wanted to know the personal experience, the personal opinion of not only the mentor and the mentees, but also the teachers involved in order to know what, are, what were their previous experience in, with both uh, migrant students and um, this methodology. We, had, uh, um, we wanted to know their opinion before they, they started their training, after the training, and after the mentoring sessions. In terms of the conclusion and findings, we saw that this methodology is highly valued among experts, but however, it's readily used, something that we actually didn't understand why. <laughs> Uh, training is needed for both mentors and teachers. These kind of programs need to celebrate our students' diversity and not just integrate the students. Uh, because the current lack of motivation with this methodology, we try to motivate students by allowing them not only to build their knowledge, but also help others as well. And we also saw that mentors have seen improvement in their mentees' self-esteem, the knowledge of the whole society's language, and the integration at school. It should involve, at, at some point, the rest of the peers in class. And teachers as mentors recommend to use this program with also native students as well that show integration and or performance issue or even suffer bullying. Thank you so much for your attention.